Residents, locals, and wins. All right, we'll start off into this match, and I am going to be looking at Link versus Corrin. Okay. Um, Corrin, definitely a character that has gotten buffed. And wow, that, that pink skin is very vibrant. Yeah. Wow. And um, of course, Link. Link, definitely a character that is much more meta, I would want to say. Like, definitely, um, we see Link a lot more higher on the tier list. This is probably Link's best game, honestly. Yeah. Uh, I'm so glad you said that. This is actually Link's best game. This is the highest he's ever been in the game. I think overall in general, I mean, but for Corrin, Corrin's kind of like on the lower spectrum, even with the buffs. But we'll see. I mean, all, I think it's, all it comes down to is just representation for the character. Right, right. And de definitely uh, Corrin still has those disjoints, has the falling nair. Pin has some mix-ups, but definitely you definitely can't use the same strategies you used in Smash 4 with the character. Yeah, exactly. So it kind of requires you to play neutral a little bit different, understanding like what your different follow-ups, percents. It's no longer pin to win. It's more like pin and where do I find it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh. and definitely Link, a character that has uh, gotten the Breath of the Wild power-up, that bomb upgrade. Um, some people don't like it, but I, I think it's really, really good for this character. And, of course, just a lot of his normals, too. Like, his neutral air is really, really strong. Yeah. So a lot of his moves are just nice. A uh, solid forward tilt option. Uh, look at that low startup. It's a pretty commitment there. That's the problem with forward tilt. You want to mostly space it uh, for a pull or your roll getup, neutral getup at that situation. Good opportunity for him to have the bomb at the ledge. That's one thing about bomb when you talk about the upgrades, right? You always have to respect bomb. There are certain characters that can even reflect bomb, but they can't reflect explosion, or the explosion will cause more uh, end lag for your actual reflection or just low dropping shield. So you gotta be right. careful. Oh, no tech. Wow. No tech. And more. the drift, there's no drift after that up B. Like nothing. Like Smash 4, that would have made it free. Exactly. But, whew, not in this game. That, that recovery got gutted. And. I like Ty. He's not. He, he really, realistically, he's abusing Corrin's bad recovery, and he's just really utilizing the bomb, mm -hmm. and he's throwing it off stage and ending it off stage rather than trying to use it for the ledge trap. And I like that for this particular matchup. Hard hit of Nair there. Able to get that grab. It's pretty much true for Link. Oh no, and that's it. He's running out of fuel. Oh. Save this man some oh. time. Save this man. But he's lying, man. He's not saving him anything. He's only saving him from being on the stage. Man, if you want to come back, that's fine. Go to the blast zone. Wow. <laughs> he was not done. He was dead on so many different levels, but he just kept hitting him over and over. And with the charge arrow snipe at the end, with the freeze frame, dang, man, did you have to do it to him, Ty? Uh, yeah, did you yeah. have to do it to him? Yeah, that's right, yeah. Did you have to blast your cam yet? <laughs> Commentator ragged. I felt so horrible. Oh, <laughs> hey man, BTW, play yeah. to win. <laughs> but that's what I like about how. Let's, let's kind of talk a little bit about that. That's what I like about how you understand how the character works, right? Even right, when right. you're fighting against Link, right? You want to make sure you have spacing when they come in. For Ty, he had most of the control of the whole game, and Quartermaster was just he, he like had something at the beginning, but he fumbled the ball. Yeah, exactly. And then once Ty got that first stock, it was uh, it was just pretty hard for him to get an opening. And Ty just kept it solid and kept doing those bomb edge guards and really just didn't leave Corn Master much options. Yeah, hold the shield. I like that. Waits for the opportunity to go which direction from the pin. Ty putting a little bit of pressure. They did nerf a lot of Link's projectiles. Predominantly, they only nerfed Boomerang. This patch, uh, 3.0 patch. Well, everything got nerfed on shield, right? Yeah. Uh, the one thing that didn't get nerfed, surprisingly, is the bomb bounce. It actually does a little bit of shield pressure there. <coughs> so that's one thing to notice. Good dash dance, able to get the, sh the grab on the shield, drop the bomb, no two frame. Oh, here's the landing there, and that's pretty much Corrin's main combo starter. That's where Corrin's going to get a lot of her damage, and a lot of her follows usually get like two to three aerials after that falling there. And you see it working out for Corrin Master, but he's got to find more of those openings. Oh, good opportunity, up B out of shield. It works really well, very similar to going like flash kick. Essentially, right. it's Link's fastest ground move coming up frame seven, so he's able to use it as his advantage. Oh no, that clip I love bike. Good wow. thing about Link, though, he has a heavyweight. Yeah, and he survived that. Oh, you should be dead here. Yeah. yeah, and right there, the charge on that forward smash. One, I, I believe the only uh, smash attack to have a hitbox while it's charging. Yeah, uh, I'll talk about it earlier. You want to have that spacing on the forward tilt. Usually, we're good at neutral get ups. You don't want to be too close to the ledge. If you want to be at a specific space, you can make sure you get that perfect hit. All right, at this point, I do want to see Ty started tossing the boomerangs. They are what kind of allows you to close the gap and have your opponent to force to go shield a little bit more often. Not only that, if you're able to get point blank boomerang attacks, you are able to go ahead and follow up from Nasty Confirms. Oh, yeah. 
the, like just getting a boomerang in a fair or an air, I mean, it just the damage really starts adding up. Ty trying to set up this off stage here, but Corn Master doing a little bit better job recovering here, avoiding these bombs while recovering. Okay, solid spot dodge. I like the up tilt reactions, but he might have been crossed up possibly. Back air, set him at the stage. But one thing I do like the Ty is he throws the bombs always to yeah. make sure, like, hey, if he's off stage, he's not going to tag. And so far, Corn Master hasn't really been tagging. Yeah, and I mean, you can even like set up for untechable situations, and regardless, even if he does get the tech, it's a still a pretty good situation, and you still get that damage. Oh, here's the dare up beat. Mm, so close. Yeah. I like the fact that he's still facing towards the stage, but if he would have reversed it, the back end of up brings you forward, so it would have also kept Core Master out of the stage. Oh, that's commitment. And yeah, you can't make it back. Yeah. yeah. And it looked like when he dared, he fast fell as well. Maybe <laughs> you can make that back if you don't fast fall that dare like that, but uh, yeah, it can be pretty tricky. Link's vertical recovery, not the best. Mm -hmm. He does have a bomb jump that he can actually use. It requires a little bit of timing and finesse. Yeah, make sure yeah. you have it always on deck. Solid boomerang there. Checks the grab opportunity here. Puts him off stage, blew up the bomb, and he's gone. Yeah, and he's gone! <laughs> <laughs> Ending both gains with the deep arrow snipe here. And just like that, Ty will take it over Corn Master 2-0 here in our first match for Wednesday Night Fights. Yeah, pretty good stuff coming out there. I mean, Core Master looking like Core and Novice.